Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, September the 11th. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 45, John chapter 10, verse 31 to 42. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, my heart overflows with noble words. To the king I must speak the song that I have made. Alleluia. Psalm 45. My heart overflows with noble words. To the king I must speak the song I have made. My tongue as nimble as the pen of a scribe. You are the fairest of the men on earth, and graciousness is poured upon your lips, because God has blessed you forevermore. O mighty one, gird your sword upon your thigh, in splendor and state ride on in triumph, for the cause of truth and goodness and right. Take aim with your bow in your dread right hand. Your arrows are sharp, and peoples fall beneath you. The foe of the king fall down and lose heart. Your throne, O God, shall endure forever. A scepter of justice is the scepter of your kingdom. Your love is for justice, and your hatred is for evil. And therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above other kings. Your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloe. From the ivory palace you are greeted with music. The daughters of kings are among your loved ones. And on your right stands the queen in gold from a fear. Listen, O daughter, and give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your Yahweh. Pay homage to him. And the people of Tyre shall come with gifts. The richest of the people shall seek your favor. The daughter of the king is clothed with splendor and her robes embroidered with pearls set in gold. She is led to the king with her maiden companions. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. Children shall be yours in place of your forebears. You will make them rulers over all the earth. May this song make your name forever remembered. And may the people praise you from age to age. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. My heart overflows with noble words. To the king I must speak the song that I have made. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 10, beginning at verse 31. Now the Jews took up stones to stone Jesus, and he replied, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these are you going to stone me? And the Jews answered, It is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy. Because you, though only a human being, are making yourself God. And Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are God's. If those to whom the word of God came were called gods, and the scripture cannot be annulled, can you say that the one whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world is blasphemy, because I said, I am God's son? If I am not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. And then they tried to arrest him again, but he escaped from their hands. And he went away again across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing, and he remained there. And many came to him, and they were saying, John performed no signs, but everything that John said about this man was true, and many believed in him there. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. We pray for your holy church, that all may be one. And grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, and that your name may be glorified by all. 
We pray for Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace upon the earth. Give us the grace to do your will in all we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief, grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. We remember especially the victims and the families of the terror attack of 9-11. Give to the departed eternal rest and let light perpetual shine upon them, especially Philip and Wayne. We praise you for all your saints who have entered into your joy. May we come also to share in your heavenly kingdom. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, we remember before you today your people who were killed in the terror attacks of September 11th. And we pray that having opened to them the gates of larger life, you will receive them more and more into your joyful service, that with all who faithfully served you in the past, they may share in the eternal victory. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.